Hi, welcome to this video about how to do JWT authentication with ClickCloud Click using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. So first of all, um, we need to create some certificates uh, to uh, encrypt and decrypt the, um, the JWT. So I'm using OpenSSL, which is installed on my developer machine, and I'm pasting in this command here. Now I got my private key and I can now create the public key using that private key and I should have both of them ready to be used. Good. Now I'll create a new folder, a project folder for later use. Now I'll copy um, the, the public key so I can actually use that in my configuration of the IDP in the Click Cloud uh, management console. So I got the public key now in my clipboard and I'll go to my Click Cloud instance. So here I am in my Click Cloud instance and I'm creating a new identity provider. So I'll select the type JWT. I can put in a short description and then I'll paste in the certificate. I'll create an issuer and a key ID. So I just have to remember the issue and the key ID uh, for later use. And I can also copy them to the clipboard. Then I'll go to the web section of the management console and create a new entry. So I'll give it a name. And then I will type in the origin where I need to communicate to uh, with the Click Cloud uh, instance. So that will be localhost. And I'll use a port called 55444. So I'll add that and I'll do create. It will give me back an integration ID, which I need to copy for later use as well. So now we are ready to go to um, visualstudio.net. From Visual Studio, I will now uh, um, download this GitHub project. And then I'll make sure I go to the solution in here. And then uh, I'll set the jwt.aspx as the um, start page. And then I'll go to the web config file. Here we need to point to the direct, uh, to, the, to the private key. The private key needs to be used to encrypt the JWT uh, token. So I'm changing the directory to the directory where we created the private key with OpenSSL. Then I need to put in the issuer and the key ID from um, um, which I, I uh, specified when creating the IDP. Now I'll copy the um, integration ID. Oh, sorry, the um, uh, the tenant URL and put that in. And afterwards I will copy the um, integration ID and actually put that in the web integration ID value here. I'm running and testing the solution right now. And what we'll see is that we are actually coming into uh, the Click Cloud. And just to check that I'm not an administrator or anything right now, here we can see a welcome message. So it's, it's a totally new user. And if I close that one, and then let's check um, if we can see the management console. We cannot, so I'm not in with the, the former authenticated user. This is actually the new one. So in that way, we have done the JWT authentication. Now let's try to understand a little bit about the code. So if I'm going uh, and find the solution explorer here and go into the code itself, we can see here from the front end page, we are calling a backend method called getJWT. And when the response is coming back, we are getting the, the URL, the JWT, and the web integration ID back. Um, then we are building up the headers for a, a post call. Uh, and that post call is then sent to the uh, click sense instance, uh, including the web integration ID. And with the web integration and the JWT in 
in, in the header. So um, when that post call is then uh, coming back, then we can change the location to the uh, ClickSense uh, instance itself. All right, let's look at the code behind here so we can see what happens there. So if we go into the CS file here, we can see that we have a J get JWT um, a function that takes a claim name, which in this case is hard coded, but usually that will be a dynamically thing in, in your system. So you can use it for many different users. Um, and if we jump into that create JWT uh, function, then we can see that we are defining all the uh, time stamps needed for the for the JWT, so the creation time, expiration time, and not used before time. Uh, and then we are creating the header of the JWT, including the key ID from the identity provider we created in the management console earlier. And then we have all the parameters needed for the uh, all the properties needed for the for the payload. Then we run a create token uh, function where we um, put in the payload and private key and headers as the inputs. Here we actually um, read the private key because we got the private key, um, the private key location. So here we read the private key um, from the disk, and when that is ready, then we can actually use this call here to return the signed JWT key with that private key, including the headers we specified. So this function itself will just return a token. So where we call that from, that will give a token back. Uh, and that uh, function we can see from, from the top. If we are moving up a little bit further up here, so let's see, uh, create JWT. Let's see where that is called from. That's called from uh, get JWT. Uh, and here we can see that we are creating a response, including the JWT output, the tenant URL, and the web integration ID, which is um, which is then returned to the to the front end as a JSON. And this is exactly here where this is used. So so we can do the the post call as uh, specified in the beginning. So this is the way you do JWT authentication with uh, Click Cloud and Microsoft Visual Studio. I hope you like the session. Thank you.